So this is the microcontroller which I have with me, 8051 microcontroller and this is the LCD. So I want to interface this LCD, this device LCD to the microcontroller 8051. So in the earlier uh, classes we have seen how to interface other devices. But uh, this is very important interfacing uh, when compared to the our other interfacing to 8051. So in this video, let us see how to interface this LCD to the microcontroller 8051. And in the next video, I would like to show you uh, the same on the breadboard like this. Already LCD is connected to the microcontroller. I removed it for the sake of showing it to you. So in the next video, I will show you the output in the hardware uh, that is the in the breadboard circuit. So first let us see uh, what is LCD, what are the pins available to the LCD and how we can connect this LCD to the microcontroller 8051. So before that, first let us have a quick re uh, recap of what is 8051. So we already know that 8051 is having four ports. These four ports are 32 input output lines. These 32 input output lines are actually configured as four ports. Port 1, port 3, then port 0 and port 2. So I am going to use these uh, four ports to interface our LCD. So because LCD is an output device, I can use any of these four ports to interface the uh, microcontroller. I mean sorry, to interface LCD to the microcontroller. So, before that, let us see what are the pins available to the LCD. This LCD is having uh, so many pins here, from pin number 1 to pin number 15. So, let us see what are these pins first. Among these 15 pins, the first three pins which are available here are VSS, VDD and VW. So, these three pins are uh, just like uh, supply to the LCD, input voltage to the LCD. And there are two more other pins, LED plus and LED minus, which is also called as LED cathode and LED anode, that will control the backlight. Actually, this LCD is called as 16 by 2 LCD, which I am using right now for the sake of interfacing is 16 by 2 LCD. It's alpha numeric LCD. So there are two rows in this, and then 16 columns are there. This is the first row, and this is the second row, and there are 16 columns. That's why it's called as 16 by 2. LCD. LCD, you already know, stands for liquid crystal display. And in order to power on this device, we will use this first two. And in order to control the brightness contrast, we will use the third pin. First is VCC, second one is ground, and the third one will help us to adjust the brightness and, and contrast of this device. For that, we need to use a 10 kilo pot, 10k pot, and we, we can connect the 10k pot to the first three pins. That I will show you in the hardware uh, part when we are working with the hardware. And in the simulation also, uh, we can see this part connection and all those things. But in the simulation, it won't work. Or in the original hardware, we can see how we can change the brightness and contrast of this LCD. And coming to the next uh, three pin, these three pins are important pins. First one is called as RS pin. Second is read write, and the third is uh, enable pin. Before going to this, I uh, let me conclude this also. These three are power supply pins, that is supply, whatever uh, supply voltage we are giving to the LCD, that will go to these two pins. And what about these two 15 and 16 pins is, they will give backlight to this LCD. I can even work without these 15 and 16 pins also, but I, if I do that, I won't get any color in this LCD. That green -ish color, the green color which we can see in a normal LCD displays is only because of the power supply we are giving here. If if you won't give the power supply, you won't get the color, green color like this. Only you can see the text displayed in that, provided all the interfaces are done properly. And then uh, coming back to the three pins, RS, read light and enable. So this LCD operates in two modes, command mode and display mode, are also called as data mode. So in the command mode, we will issue some commands to the LCD and Based on the command issued to the LCD, it will uh, display the data. Say for example, in this LCD, if I want to display Hanu 7, 
So there are so many options. I can start in the first row, first column, second row, first column, right? I can start in the middle, somewhere in the middle, or otherwise I can start with H at the end and I can make that letter to scroll towards left side. Or I can use second one, I can start it here and scroll towards left side. Like that, so many different options are there. So that can be done with the help of commands. So you have to configure your LCD into the command mode. Then you can uh, issue some commands. Based on the commands issued, it will display the data onto the LCD. So that can be done by using this bit, RS. When RS is equal to 0, it will go to the command mode. And when RS is equal to 1, it will go to the display mode. And whenever we are going to in, into the respective modes like RS or uh, uh, I mean command and, and display modes, then we have to enable this, uh, I mean we have to write some uh, data to this read write. Read write will be obviously always connected to 0. But whereas this enable will become 1 and 0. Whenever we are entering into the command mode, it will become 1 and then immediately it will become 0. Similarly, in the display mode also, we will make it 1 and 0. So this we will see in detail in the programming part. I will explain you uh, in the programming part how to program this LCD. And uh, there you can see uh, what is the use of this. So right now in this uh, interfacing, I I am using port 1 for that purpose. So I will draw that line from there to here. Actually, I, have to, I am supposed to draw that. So in the port 1, I am using 1, 2, 3 pins. P1.0, P1.1 and P1.2 those three pins I will connect it to the 4, 5 and 6 of LCD. So RS, read write and enable are controlled from pin number 1, 2 and 3 of the microcontroller. So microcontroller can program these three pins through this port 1. So let me mention that here itself. So I can take a wire from here this is P1.0 and I am connecting it to RS and second one I am connecting it to read write and the third one I am connecting it to NA so like this uh, we, can, we can take three wires and connect from the pin number 1, 2, 3 to pin number 4, 5, 6 which I didn't draw because it, it will take long uh, distance and coming to the next D0 to D7 8 are the next 8 more pins are data pins whatever the data you want to send from the microcontroller to the LCD that will go through this D0 to D7 pins so these uh, pins are connected to port 2 you can, you can choose any port but in the diagram uh, here I, I choose uh, port 2 as interfacing uh, D0 to D7 to the microcontroller. So just have a glance at uh, the pins which, which are connected. So this D0 to D7 are connected to port 2 and then RS, read write enabled are connected to port 1 then VSS, VDT, VWD those are possible pins. We can take a 10K port and we can connect to them. See in the diagram here if you can there is a 10K port taken here to the 10k part, we can we can uh, connect three wires. Those three wires will go to the one, two, three pin of the LCD. So like this, you can interface a LCD device. This is a LCD device to the microcontroller 8051. So as I told you earlier, also interfacing is very simple. Just we need to connect the respective pins to the respective pins of the microcontroller. So but it, it is not that easy to get the data in the LCD. So you have to, you should also learn how to program your LCD, uh, sorry, your microcontroller to display some data onto the LCD. So that also we will see if possible in the in the same video or otherwise in a next video, depending upon the duration of the video. So that's all. Uh, that's about interfacing of LCD to the microcontroller 8051. Thank you.